right guys what's up welcome back to another borderlands 3 video and today lo and behold what do we have here we have ourselves a good old gatling gun here right now the reason why we have this gatling gun over here on Moe's today is because we have this puppy with the good old bear burn right Oh, uh, whenever I say Bear Bird, I'm referring to the next two maximum 25% extra incinerator damage um, anointment. I just sort of know when I gets confused. If you want to go farm for this puppy, it is a world drop, but it does have an increased chance to drop from a uh, good old Billy the Anointed located in the Jacob's Estate over on Eden 6. And basically, obviously, this puppy is fully automatic and increased fire rate and magazine size with fire rate increasing as it is fired, uh, making it a uh, very, very... Uh, intriguing to uh, use on those especially with the bear bone we're gonna have a lot of fun today with this puppy we are gonna go ahead and uh, get our uh, forge here with our bombus mag tree we are gonna get short fees i mean the blue tree bro and we're gonna make this thing freaking slap uh and then we do have once again our green tree uh it's, it's the same exact type of uh, setup that we had whenever we use the red line setup and it's just you know good old double capstone click click all that good jazz and uh, yeah also i mean we do have drowning and brass obviously we're going to bring our fire old god, our beautiful fire minesweeper with splash damage, splash damage radius, and grenade damage, along with a good old pearl of max size and fire rate. It's going to really help out this puppy as well. And then we do have our CMT, uh, which is just an overall really, really good grenade. But yeah, guys, with all of that stuff being said, let's go ahead and uh, jump right into the video. Okay, guys, so I decided to hop over here into uh, the Slaughter Star. Uh, you know, this is an area we don't really come uh, come over, you know, too, too much. So, you know, I figure go ahead and hop over here, dude. Uh, so, basically, dude, the whole game with this puppy is that, I mean, you're going to begin this thing to fire very, very fast uh, the longer you can hold down the trigger. Definitely want to get as much mag size as you can. Um, if you don't have a Minesweeper, a green monster would definitely be really, really good, especially if you have your green monster rolling really high. Um, into the iron bank that'd be really really good uh for this setup we don't even really have we have like two to the iron bank uh, i am a fan of scorching rpms a lot so i do be spiking a little high into scorching rpms um over things like the iron bank uh let me just down myself with my cmt <laughs> real quick my bad dude but uh yeah dude like i've only done one showcase on this gun and that was uh, about a couple months ago now uh, and we were going with a similar setup using it on those just because like we are going to be able to get this thing to fire very very fast which is obviously very very good uh, having that fast fire rate uh, will also put us some uh, some mass damage pretty pretty fast especially with things like our pearl that does give us extra fire rate it's just going to be overall very 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 nice now some people would probably want to use this puppy over on flak uh, and that would totally uh, totally be you know a viable option for sure I mean most Jacob's weapons in general are going to be good on flak anyways, and I, I mean, this one wouldn't be either, but I mean, we have the bear burn, a bear burn anointment, so I wanted to at least use it on most so we can at least get some uh, use out of our anointment, uh, which is, you know, another reason why we are over here. I totally shot that barrel uh, with my grenade on accident. What a big loop, but it's all good. We're going to be able to pick ourselves up. Uh, these Malawan troops can't handle the, uh, the the intensity that we are able to dish out against these fools, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, yeah, dude, I know some people probably have been uh, looking at some of the new arm first footage going on. Uh, I'll let you guys know right now. I'm not going to go, like, crazy uh, covering the uh, the arms race game mode. Uh, I'm going to spend most of my time uh, doing a lot of Destiny stuff, but I will obviously be, uh, you know, posting some Borderlands as well. I mean, we do at least post at least one Borderlands video per day, so, I mean, don't worry about that and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just letting you guys know that. Don't expect too much arms race content out of your boy. Uh, just letting you guys know. But I mean, uh, overall, dude, for instance, I mean, we're talking about this Gatling gun. I mean, right now it's performing pretty, pretty well. We are going to take this thing over to the Guardian Takedown in, like, literally, like, less than a minute. So, uh, we'll see how it does over there. But, I mean, right now, to start things off, it's doing relatively respectable work against some uh, some of these enemies. But, uh, I mean, yeah, dude, you know, definitely, like, we just got to get this thing firing really, really fast. Get this thing fire really, really fast. I mean, we're going to have a good, good time. Obviously, we're not going to be reloading this gun hardly ever. I mean, we are going to have... A lot of use out of our forge and our redistribution and all that good jazz so i mean we'll like once we hop an iron bear for the one time we'll have that uh that fire damage in all of our uh, next coming on mags which is obviously very very nice 
I mean, especially for our fire, old god and our fire, this guy, and all the good stuff like that, dude. It's just going to allow us to do a lot of damage. I have found that I feel like Bear Burn can be a little bit underrated anointment, especially um, for some Jacob's weapons. Like, I really do love me a Lucky 7 with the with the Bear Burn anointment. definitely puts in a lot of work. If Like, it's definitely a good substitution for things like consecutive hits. Um, although, you know, the thing about consecutive hits is that it's good on every single wall hunter. Whereas Bear Burn, you can only use on one ball. I mean, so, you know, if you're a big time Moe's player, you know, you can definitely at least keep an eye out for that for that fire damage. Because, you know, that's over the next couple of mags rather than just for a few seconds out of, like, coming out of Iron Bear or something like that. Which is very, very good for Moe's because, you know, hopping in and out of Iron Bear can get kind of annoying. Versus some other game, uh, some other games. Versus some other ball hunters like, you know, Amara or Flak that can, you can literally just whip out your, uh, your action skill super fast and it's very less clunky, but, uh, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, take this puppy over to the, uh, Guardian Takedown, and I'll see you guys over there. Okay, we are over here now at the Guardian Takedown side of things. Oh, we're not gonna melt these enemies as fast, uh, because, you know, these are, you know, Guardian Takedown enemies. They do be, uh, be packing quite the amount of health per enemy, but, uh, you know, this is why it's always good to bring, uh, guns over here, just see how they can do over here. Uh, as you can see, dude, uh, our four, well, there we go down again, <laughs> but as you can see that the bottom right hand of your screen, dude, we are going to be able to max out this thing's fire rate, and we are going to be able to get this thing pumping and going, and it's going to be really, really nice, because we're just going to be able to get a lot of use out of this thing. Uh, let's actually go ahead, hop into Iron Bear, and make sure that we have our Bear Burn activated. Uh, obviously, that is very important, you know, we want, we want to get that extra fire damage, uh, for sure, for sure, for sure, and if we're going to get fire rate churning, we're going to get this thing really grinding up these fools and uh, we should be you know doing uh, some massive uh, work to these enemies you know what i'm saying make sure that they they know what they're getting into here you know what i'm trying to say oh but uh yeah dude uh, i feel like the gatling gun is definitely it. so okay look whenever we're talking jacob's assault rifles obviously we all know what the top two are that being the stone thrower and the clairvoyance you could argue which one's better than the other top one or two whatever i just put those in a class of their own um, and then you have things like the Gatling Gun, you have things like the Rollins Call, uh, which feels like, obviously, they're not nearly as good, uh, but they're not terrible. Uh, I, I definitely feel like the Rollins Call, definitely, you can actually make, do, like, you can make it do some work if you truly spec for it, but I just wouldn't say it's worth a truly, like, try and make a, a, a Rollins Call style build, you know what I'm saying? Like... And nah, just no. Nah. Like you, 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 you can if you want to. You, if you know, oh damn, did we go? There we go. Reloading. First reload of the video. But like, I mean, you can if you really want to. But like, no, come on. But you, you know, you, there's there's other guns to make a build around. You know, there's other Jacob's guns to make a build around. Like like the Lucky Seven. The Lucky Seven is 100% a, a Jacob's pistol worth making a build around. You know what I'm saying, dude? It, it, yeah, it puts in a lot of work. Obviously, you know, you have your Hellwalker as well, which is, you know, truly insane. That's, that shotgun is definitely the best shotgun in the game, dude. Literally, completely put the stagecoach out of relevancy, dude, just because of how much easier it is to get. And it's, like, the less RNG that you have to go to into getting a good one, which is really awesome. But I mean, guys, y'all are seeing this Gatling gun. It's it's doing fairly to, uh, like fairly well, I would say, against some of these tougher enemies, which is obviously very, very nice. Let's we'll just see when the, enemy, uh, when the gun uh, can put in some work, in, uh, especially against some of these enemies. Now, obviously, you know, we do have things like our short fuse uh, definitely helping us out. But you know, yeah, we we're, we're just dude, we're, we're just doing what we got to do, man. We're making this thing be good, putting in some massive work. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let's go ahead. Head on over to the Malawan. All right, you guys, we are now over here at our favorite uh, favorite spots to do showcases these days. Obviously, we are talking about our good old Malawan takedown. I feel like, you know, the more and more I've run through this uh, takedown, dude, the more that I just love uh, doing this for videos, dude. It just, it, it's perfect, bro. It's got multiple bosses, a lot of mobbing areas, and then, you know, another a big boss at the end. It's just overall, like, overall, dude, I just feel like this is, like, the spot to do showcases. Um, is the Malawan takedown. It's very fair. It's very forgiving. It's not that hard to run through anymore. It's just overall really, really good, especially these days, dude. We can act like, okay, I say these days, but you know, I know for some people, like, especially like, you know, if you are newer to this game, doing a Malawan takedown on main tank can still be relatively difficult. 
but at least for me, um, doing this for showcases just works. Uh, we, I have a lot of gear where I can like, like cater towards some of the guns that we showcase. Uh, and I can like kind of make I can like I can make it work inside of here and just overall like just show what a weapon can do in some of the higher end content you know rather than just doing an Athena's a simple Athena's run like we used to back in the day and stuff like that which is you know overall pretty you know I I would think relatively good you know I would just I would assume that most people would want to see this thing perform well or perf like how it performs against you know higher tier uh, content uh, rather than just seeing Athena's over and over again that's just me you know. I mean, I would definitely would rather want to see it like that, you know, like, you know, I, I just, like, I would want to see how he does against some of the tougher, tougher things. Now, obviously, you know, there's, you can run these, the guns in this game a lot of different ways, dude. I mean, there's so many different ways to run each characters and run builds and stuff like that. But uh, at least, you know, uh, we're, we're watching this thing put in some relatively decent work. We do got the short fuse helping us out with our minesweepers as well. But, I mean, like, overall, I mean, this thing isn't, like, struggling. Like, it'd be one thing if we were, like, actually struggling, but we're not really struggling all that much at all. Jeez, there's so much explosions going around. There's explosions afoot. This thing, I will say this thing doesn't quite brute force its way through armor like some uh, other guns do. But, I mean, it's still, it's still doing relatively good, you know? Okay, also, now we are over here at the Malawan Takedown Bridge side of things. The good old bridge. We all, I mean, we, do, we, we, we love the bridge, you know what I'm saying, bro. Bridge also. It's a great area where we can also uh, do some massive mobbing work and just let this thing uh, go on a bit of a tear here. Uh, as well as that, you know, RIB is going to put in some work as well because good old IB, that's what it does, man. Gotta love them hammer down protocols, baby. They do just help out a ton. Uh, you know, this thing is also kinetic, so like felling thrower heavyweights aren't as annoying as like if we're like using the actual elemental fire weapon, which is obviously very, very nice. Repulse Commando, get out of my face, sit down. No one likes you, you have no friends, and you're uh, completely redundant. Um, I, wow, I just went instant down twice, yeah. That is the explosions uh, that do be. They do be going uh, off sometimes. <laughs> they do be going crazy whenever you play on modes, man. But uh, yeah, that is definitely the fun of playing this character, dude. Is you know at this point, dude, I would say that we have a good amount of showcases on both Flack and Moe's. <laughs> I know uh, some of uh, the Amar and Zane people out there uh, might not, you know, might not approve. But uh, that is just uh, that's just where I do a lot of the showcases at, man. You know, I, I do have all the characters. It's just that I just don't play on them equally. Like, my poor Zane, man, my, my boy is sitting at level 57 still. Oh, my God. I don't play on my Zane at all, bro. <laughs> but, yeah, dude. Like, we're like, look at this, bro. Look at all this fucking insane fire explosions we're causing. We're, we're wreaking havoc on here, dude. I remember when this used to be the hard, like, one of the hardest parts of the game was this, was this bridge part of this takedown, dude. It'd be like, it'd be like, bro, this used to be the, literally, like, the hardest part was getting the old time would be right here, dude. I remember when this thing first came out, me and my boy Hyphen spent hours just trying to get past this part. On the AM freaking three. Oh man, let alone just like casually doing this as a showcase on Mayhem 10, bro. It's we have come a long way, dude. I really, really hope that they do introduce like more takedowns during like 2021. You know, just to keep this game going, because like this game does have some potential to like at least go for a few years before like you know the inevitable Borderlands 4 comes out. So they should totally like give this thing some more like content for it to, for us that for us to do, uh, which I think they will. I mean, we have another DLC after this uh, director's cut, you know. So we'll see, dude. Guarantee you, we're gonna get like one more big time takedown uh, before this game is all said and done. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, let's go ahead, head over to Wotan Schmotan, and I'll be right over there. All right, y'all. So we're over here at Wotan Schmotan Smackdown of the Century. We might struggle a little bit, but you know. It's all good. Uh, Wotan do be, do be hella fat against fire enemies. <laughs> or not fire enemies, against our fire weapons. But it's all good, dude. We're going to try our best to brute force our way. See if Wotan really can handle it, bro. We are going to be just throwing uh, all we got at him, bro. This Gatling gun is pretty uh, good on not having to worry about reloads. Let's go ahead pop in uh, our uh, good old Sun for the Road and our good old, you know what I'm saying, our good old IV. No reloads, bro. I know we had one reload earlier in the video, but uh, that that was a that was a, that was a one timer, bro. Chalk it up as a mulligan. <laughs> Stop 
hope he's putting in some some nice work though. There you go, pal. Hold that. Skadoosh. Skadoosh. And then we'll come over here. And uh, we'll take out the... You know, let's try and take out the top off first. See if he's built for it. What's up, man? I know you're, I know you're trying to... Trying to outrun me, man. You know, okay. I, I'm not trying to reload, bro. I'm trying to be part of the no reload game. Oh, well, that's that's no good. That's no good. Excuse me, Wotan. I've got to shoot this stinger. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, whoops! I my I think my finger might have slipped. Oh, we blew him up. For, are you kidding me? Wow, the top half of Wotan got completely curb stomped by those two hammer downs. What a freaking noob! All right, Wotan, just stay right there, dude. I'm going to hit you with all types of crits. And it's going to be very, very nasty. You're not going to be able to handle this pain, this homie. And, oh, oh, he's trying to be a bunny rabbit. He's trying to be a bunny rabbit. Uh, I actually don't want to kill Wotan with our hammer downs. I just want to activate our son for the road. There we go. Some good, nice, well, respectable damage, respectable work from our homie, the Gatling gun. So, I mean, yeah, guys, I mean... I know this gun is definitely not used uh, too, too much in the community. Definitely a more slept on gun, uh, for sure, for sure. But like, definitely not a bad gun. Like, I know there's some people out there that might hoard a lot of weapons. If you have uh, maybe a space to spare, you know, I would maybe, I'd copy you know, cop one with consent kits or something like that next to mags, cryo, radiation. Yeah, go ahead, keep it. Uh, here's ours, we have Bear Burn. Uh, huge shout out to the homie Boston fan. Uh, for hooking this gun uh, up for us, you know what I'm saying? I do appreciate that, brother man. Thank you so, so much. Uh, here's our setup once again. We use a fire old god, the 5 out of 5, 10 out of 5 fire minesweeper. Very, 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 very good. Along with our pearl with mag size and fire rate. Perfect for a gun like this. Uh, as well with our CMTs with grenade thrown. Very, very nice. Uh, shield retribution trees, get your drowning in brass. And then our bombless max tree. You got that click, click. Got some iron bank. Got max torching RPMs. Obviously, I want to get some sun for the road and forge for this setup for sure. We have a uh, special spare just because I love hammer downs and I always run two of them. <laughs> and then obviously, get your short fuse, auto bear, fine and skagged in, all that good stuff. All the good parts that come with the demolition woman tree. You're going to want to uh, go ahead and pick them up for sure, for sure. But, anyways, guys, that is going to just about wrap up the video. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, then make sure to drop your load on that like button and subscribe if you are new. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. So, if y'all like daily Borderlands 3 content, then make sure to subscribe because that is what we do around here, guys. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. My name's Curry, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.